so welcome you all in the next um, 10 to 15 minutes we are going to see that uh, how natural language processing can be applied in fiction shooting process for um, knowledge summarization purpose so first of all <clears throat> natural language processing is a computational technique which is a branch of artificial intelligence that gives us the ability that to a machine system to understand the audible words and text just like humans. Natural language processing algorithms work by separating the human sourced language into fragments for understanding the given context by analyzing the main ideas conveyed by the words and further analyzing the grammatical structure of the input sentences. Nowadays, the natural language processing finds application in monitoring of social media, language translation, chatbots, grammatical corrections, and uh, targeted population advertisement. Natural language processing is also been applied to the material science and manufacturing domain for the knowledge extraction purposes. So knowledge summarization is a technique for um, So knowledge summarization technique for condensing a big piece of text into a few key, few key elements that gives a general impression of the content. So when someone requires a quick and precise summary of a large amount of information it becomes very hectic and vital so if it so if it's done manually summarizing test can be costly and time consuming so we have already discussed that uh, nlp is a subdivision of artificial intelligence that narrows down the gap between technology and human cognition by extracting the relevant information from the pile of data so in the present work um, regarding the first sensitive reading of aluminium alloys, we like um, um, the abstract, the data was collected from the groups of abstract available on uh, scholarly research papers. And uh, for extracting the relevant information from this research abstract, abstracts, um, four natural language processing based algorithms were implemented. That is, um, first one is latent semantic analysis algorithm. Second algorithm used was lex rank algorithm. And loon algorithm. At last, KL algorithm. <clears throat> so this is the main objective of our research work. In the end, the performance of each implemented natural natural language processing algorithms were, compa uh, were compared by using ROG algorithm. Now this is the semantic flowchart of how this experimental procedure was carried out. So Firstly, 20 abstracts dealing with the friction welding of aluminium joints were collected from the Google Scholar database. And these collected abstracts were converted into a text file for um, further processing. Now, 
these sentences in the given text file were uh, tokenized and uh, frequency distribution was further obtained. After that, the punctuation marks in the given text were removed, followed by finding and removal of the stop words in the text file. Now, the obtained text was subjected to four natural language processing algorithms and their metric features such as recall, precision and definite score were calculated. So the formula for uh, calculating the metric features is this. Now let's, um, if I'm going in more detail here, um, So here in this equation, number of n refers to number of n grams, refers to an n gram, which is a grouping of similar words. So this is, sorry. So this is the main formula for um, obtaining the metric features value. And this metric features value, where of these four algorithms, we are further compared by the Rune algorithm in order to get which algorithm is best for the knowledge summarization purpose. Now this is the word cloud or we, uh, word cloud which is obtained from our uh, one minute. <clears throat> so this is the word cloud which was obtained from after the knowledge summarization thing. Now, coming to the results. So here we can see that, um, now let's first focus on let's first focus on Lex Rank algorithm. So here, Lex rank algorithm is a unsupervised hygiene vector central based graphical method to summarize the given input text automatically. So for a given representation of an of required sentence, a connectivity matrix that works on the cosine similarity principle is implemented as an adjacency matrix. So in this approach, a centroid sentence is chosen which acts as a mean for all the sentences present in the text file. This followed by the ranking allocation on the basis of their similarities. Now the bag of words model is used to define similarity by representing the n, which is the number of all possible words, dimensional vectors. So in the vector representation, representation form of sentence, the value of corresponding dimension is calculated by this equation. So value of the corresponding dimension is equal to inverse document frequency of the word multiplied by the number of occurrences of the word now the next question is that um, how do we calculate the inverse document frequency value So let me erase this one first.
so the idf value that is idf idf modified cosine value this function of x and y is given by this equation that is summation over uh, w with this element of x and y tf w multiply x t f w y here i d f w whole square here i d f w is the inverse dopamine frequency of a volt w is a volt here and uh, t f w and s is the number of times the word appears in the sentences yes so this is given by the square root of and root of xi element of x t f of xi idf xi whole square square root if we are going to go in, if you are going to do in function of y element of y same thing t y i multiplied by i d f of y i whole square so this is the general expression so this is the general expression for calculating the uh, i d f value now coming to Now coming to the loan algorithm. Now let's come to the loan algorithm. So loan algorithm is based on the heuristic approach and is one of the earliest method which was used for um, summarizing the test file. The mechanism of the loon algorithm is based on the selection of higher importance words on the basis of their frequency distribution and uh, further assigning the higher weights to the words which are mentioned in the beginning of the text file the score assigned to a sentence is calculated by this equation that is score is equal to number of meaningful words whole square divided by span of meaningful words now coming to the latent semantic analysis algorithm Now let's discuss about latent semantic analysis method. So this algorithm is also known as latent semantic indexing, which is used for uh, simulating and modeling this essence of the passages and words given in the text document by using sim singular value decomposition method. So latent semantic analysis algorithm statistically analyze and uh, predict the meaning of a given passage by analyzing the co-occurrence of the given word in a text file. Now let's discuss about the last algorithm that is KL algorithm. So <clears throat> the KL algorithm stands for um, callback labor algorithm. So this is based 
this is based on a greedy method approach by adding a sentence to this summary when there is a reduction in KL divergence KL algorithm checks the divergence the divergence of the summary vocabulary from its um, input vocabulary by minimizing by minimizing by minimizing it so if there are real words in a summary and for a given document D a criterion is introduced by KL algorithm for selection of summary S now we can see that uh, from the results that loon algorithm is giving highest um, fn score of 0 0.413 so highest fn score we are obtaining for the loon algorithm <clears throat> now let's wind up this discussion So, in order to create an autonomous knowledge summarization, machine learning and natural language processing comes in handy. So, in machine, so in machine human interaction, natural language processing plays a significant role. So, it is still being worked on, and more study is being done in this area. So, in future, so in future, we might witness a more intelligent and perfect knowledge summarization system that understands human language and works appropriately so in this present work four types of nlp algorithm that is lax rank loon latent semantic analysis and kl algorithm were successfully implemented on the research text summarization of friction stable dead aluminium joints the results showed that the loon algorithm yielded the highest fn score of 0.413 in comparison to the other algorithms so it can be also concluded that the text mining approach can be beneficial for the researchers to mine out the necessary information from the bulk of data by automating the whole process which leads to the reduction of experimentation time so thank you